It's Friday, January 24th, 2014. Welcome back to all the UTEP minors enrolled this semester. I'm Chris Lechuga. Here's what you need to know about what's happening at the University of Texas at El Paso. UTEP's WM Keck Center for 3D Innovation will lead a $2.2 million research project to further 3D printing technologies for rapid manufacturing of aerospace systems. Researchers will focus on creating a 3D printer that can fabricate multi-material components for unmanned aerial vehicles and satellites. Other research partners include the University of New Mexico, Youngstown State University, the Lockheed Martin Corporation, Northrop Gumman Corporation, RP plus M Incorporated, and Stratasys Incorporated. The grant was awarded by America Makes, the National Additive Manufacturing Innovation Institute. In 2012, President Barack Obama envisioned a network of institutes like America Makes in order to revitalize manufacturing in the United States. The nearly 3 million travelers who pass through the El Paso International Airport annually will now have the chance to check out a unique exhibit about UTEP. The exhibit officially opens today and features three 8-foot tall Bhutanese style kiosks with panels describing the university's history and impact during the first 100 years. It is located in the airport lobby and will remain on display throughout 2014. Tomorrow, Saturday, January 25th, the Junior League of El Paso Incorporated and UTEP will celebrate each other's milestone anniversary, 100 years for UTEP and 80 years for the Junior League. The free celebration will be a children's party from 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. at the Centennial Museum. Activities include scavenger hunts and photos with Peter P. A limited edition coloring book will be given to each child. Mark your calendars for Monday, January 27th, when GECU and UTEP will unveil the final masterpieces of the 12 esteemed artists who were tasked with highlighting the university's milestones on five-foot-tall pickaxes. The local artists, including one UTEP student, will reveal their works of art starting at 1.30 p.m. at the UTEP Union Gallery. This means the world to me. Um, at this point in my life, it's a highlight, definitely, uh, to be represented. Uh, through UTEP, uh, the school where I've been studying, and the fact that it's the 100 years is just uh, an honor. The art will be on display for public viewing. Later in 2014, the pickaxes will be auctioned with the funds benefiting the GECU Foundation's R.C. Morgan Scholarship Fund, an endowment fund that supports UTEP students. Centennial festivities will continue throughout the year. Make sure to check out utep100years.com for a calendar of events. We'll leave you with the university's program that commemorated Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. For more information about these and other stories, check out utepnews.com. I'm Chris Lechuga. We'll see you all next Friday. Go Miners! This will be the day when all of God's children will be able to sing with new meaning. My country, physically. Sweet land of liberty of thee, I sing. Land where my fathers died and land of the pilgrims' pride. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. Free at last, free at last. Great God Almighty, we are free at last.